Okay, so this is the uh, question that I asked you guys for the midterm makeup. This is the first question, question number one. It was for it was from inventory management, and uh, like I think none of none none of you guys who took the midterm makeup actually attempted to solve this question. So, uh, just as a revision for your uh, finals, I'm gonna uh, give you the solution for this question. So, uh, yeah. All right, so uh, let's read the question first. Just try to break it down a bit. So the question uh, goes like this. So there's a company that operates 250 days, uh, has a warehouse that has a capacity of 1,200 units of a certain product that it manufactures at a rate of 500 units per day. The uh, setup cost to start a production batch is $1,800, and the annual holding cost is $50 per unit. The marketing department of the company firmly believes that the company uh, that the demand for the product is a function of marketing expense expressed by the following model as in sales in units is equal to 5000 plus four times the marketing expenditure okay so the question is what amount of marketing expenditure will allow the company to fully utilize the storage space okay so uh, let's first break down the question and list down the number of uh, list down the given information all right so first we have uh, the number of working days which is given to us which is 250 working days uh, they, they have given us the capacity of the warehouse which basically translates to the maximum inventory if we want to fully utilize the storage space as the question has asked uh, we have the production rate which is 500 units per day we have the setup cost, which is 1,800 units, so 1,800 dollars per batch, and finally we have the annual holding cost. So uh, this is the information that is given to us in the question. Now we also have this little thing there, uh, which gives us uh, a formula to calculate the marketing expenditure, which is kind of uh, irrelevant at the moment because once you figure out the demand. Uh, finding out the marketing expenditure is actually a pretty simple stuff so uh, you should be able to do this on your own so I'm not going to solve this uh, in this particular video but if you have any questions just feel free to um, send me a message or something all right so this is the, the last part is quite straightforward it's just been given to you to you know confuse you or something like that okay now let's uh, start uh, solving this question okay so let's put the given information up there now we have uh, we need to calculate the demand. So we do not know what the demand is. So let's represent the daily demand with uh, a lower caps D. Okay. Now we have the annual demand, uh, which is going to be represented by a capital D, which I haven't written down there. I should, I should have, but I didn't. Okay. So is going to be 250 times the daily demand, right? Because the company operates for 250 days, so the annual demand is going to be 250 times daily demand, which is 250 times lower caps D. Okay. Now uh, the maximum inventory, which uh, is represented by uh, this formula here, which is the production quantity times one minus the production rate divided by sorry the demand rate divided by the production rate. So we know uh, the maximum inventory is 1,200 units. We know the let's uh, let's see the the POQ or the production order quantity is represented just by the letter Q to simplify that, and we know the uh, production rate is 500 units. We do not know the demand rate, so we'll leave that as D. All right. So the next step we get 1,200, which is the maximum inventory, is equal to Q times one minus D over 500. All right. So if we simplify this further, we get Q as 1,200 times 500 divided by 500 minus D. Okay. So I'm not going to multiply that right now because it's going to give me like ridiculously large numbers. So I'm just going to leave it as 1200 times 500. So it's easy for me to do my calculations further on, further along the way. Okay. So we know that the production quantity is now equal to this, uh, this number here. But we also know that the production quantity, if we want to produce the optimum amount, is the production order quantity. And the formula for calculating the production order quantity is actually that right there. Okay. So now... We know that it is two, uh, uh, root under two times annual demand times the setup cost divided by holding cost times one minus demand rate over production rate. So let's try to plug in the numbers. So we know the demand, uh, the annual demand is going to be 250D. We know the setup cost is 
$1,800. We know the holding cost is $50 per unit, and we know the production rate is 500. So if you plug all these numbers in, we get that. And we can re replace the Q with what we, um, what we uh, let's say, calculated, or let's say what we got for Q in the previous part, all right? So we, we know Q is equal to 1,200 times 500 divided by 500 minus D. So we're gonna replace that uh, for Q, and uh, we're going to put in the numbers for uh, that we have so far. So we get this equation. So we get this pretty much equation where the only variable here is the demand rate. Okay. So let's simplify that further. So the only way we can do this is just square on both sides. So if we square both sides, uh, we basically get this thing. So I, I basically didn't put the numbers because the numbers are going to be really, really large, and I don't want to get confused with like you know. The number of zeros so i just put it as it is so it's 1200 times 500 times 1200 times 500 instead of putting it in a number so i don't even want to bother calculating that okay so i'm going to further simplify that okay so if i simplify that i get that number so i just simplified the denominator of the right hand side of the equation all right so once i do that the denominator of the denominator 500 is going to go up to the numerator numerator so i get that equation so uh, if you have any confusions with the algebra in this uh, or the arithmetic in this it's just uh put it in put it in the comments all right so i'm just going to be able to cancel out these numbers uh, so i can cancel out the 500 on the left hand side with the 500 on the right hand side 2 times 250 which is also 500 is also cancelled out with the other 500 there and i've cancelled out uh, just you know by dividing both sides with that number now once I have that the simplified version is going to look something like this okay so 1200 times 1200 times 50 divided by 1800 is going to be equal to 40,000 so if I further simplify this equation it's going to look like this so it's basically a quadratic equation now if you can you can solve this quadratic equation any way you want all right you can just uh, use a, the factor method or you can use the universal solution for the quadratic equation which look something like that, all right? So you can use minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So in this case, b, which is the coefficient of the uh, term d, is equal to 500. a is the coefficient for b squared, which is equal to 1. And c, which is the coefficient of the con or the constant, is equal to 40,000. So if I plug those numbers in, uh, I can solve for d, and I will get d is equal to 250 plus minus 150. So the value for d is actually 400 and 100. So in this particular solution, in this particular question, we have two different solutions. Okay, so d, uh, when the demand rate is 400 units per day, and when it is 100 units per day, we get an optimum solution. Okay, so the demand or the annual demand could be 400 times 250, which is equal to uh, 100,000, or 25,000. So either the, when the demand is 100,000 units annually or when it is 25,000, you basically are using the inventory, uh, max. you're basically having a maximum inventory of 1,200 units. Okay, so this is what you're supposed to figure out. Now, to calculate the marketing expense, you just plug that demand into that equation and you'll be able to calculate the marketing expense. You'll obviously get two different solutions. Either one is okay, all right? So um, if you have any questions, just uh, Give me a shout out just like uh, you can call me or put it in the comment don't, don't put it in the comments i'm probably not gonna look at it so uh but however um i have told you guys that the question in your final exam is going to be something to do with uh your the demand rate or the lead time being normally distributed so uh, you probably won't be probably you might not get a question like this all right but this is just uh for your learning all right so i hope you guys uh, learned uh, something from this and uh, yeah good luck